So EBM was a term that the band Front 242 came up with and it means electronic body music. I don't know what it is, it's, it's, it, most of the songs are like quite simple. That's what I like about them. They're like very physical and like very primitive and um, I think that's like the perfect clock music. For me it was always about the groove because I, I had that dance music thing in me that's just never going to go away. I always responded to the stuff which was groove based and stuff. I, I would say that's probably the defining characteristic of what he's compiled there. It's like stuff you can actually move to. People would come up when I was teaching and they would be like, why are you playing this music with drum machines as if the drum machine was some satanic device? I mean, there was no scene here. Uh, I myself and some tried to start a scene and I literally probably knew everybody in Edinburgh at the time that was in this music. Then I moved to Glasgow expecting there to be a lot more interest in it here and there wasn't. But in Europe, it was very, very advanced. A lot of us were schooled in a way of thinking about techno music, which was like the big three from Detroit. You know, like that, that was all Kraftwerk and that was the origins of techno. That's why it's, I think that's why it kind of opens your mind when you suddenly see, hang on, there was this other stuff going on in, in Europe as well, which could equally lay claim to being proto-techno as well, you know? It's the same energy and the same like sound aesthetic as well, I think. The basicness of what these guys were doing was so important to them getting their own sound because they just had specific bits of equipment which they kind of made their own. My head exploded, my mouth is dry! I can't help it if I forgot about it! There's also parallels to, to the time that music was made in and the time so it feels like a similar era politically the way society is feels like almost we've come full circle so it's relevant it's this voice from the past that somehow speaks about what's going on now that kind of feeling i guess is maybe i don't know the kind of basis of like an mm. industrial music you know it's, it sounds like concrete and it sounds like a shape Scottish new town to me. I think the idea of originality and the attitude that comes with believing in what you do and not really giving a shit about what anyone else does is something that definitely defines all that music because there were real, they weren't really about genres back then. It was like grab some equipment and make some noise and make people go crazy. I mean, that's just an amazing track. <laughs> If, if someone made that t today and released it on some kind of fucking white label, techno label, people would lose their shit. Throb and Gristle Discipline, so it's like a, a 10 minute industrial racket, was recorded live in Berlin. On the very first solo that we ever did, I was playing the whole night and really, really was dying for a cigarette. So I'm like, I'll put this on, that'll give me time to, and I was convinced by the time that I came back in, because it's so intense, that everyone would have gone and got a drink and had a little rest. But the whole place was going crazy and sing along to it. And that's when I kind of suddenly realised there is something with this night that really appeals to, to people, that people are a lot more open-minded. Sometimes in dance music clubs, it's, you could never take the risk of playing something as extreme as that.